hey, Matt, what's wrong? You look pretty bummed. Laura, I am bummed. I'm thinking about Ash Wednesday and how, you know, last year we would have like a thousand people come to the church and this year we can only have like 400 people because of COVID and all the restrictions with masses, right? So I'm just thinking about how, you know, we can't give ashes to that many people. What are we gonna do? Actually, I am here with this bag of ashes in it to explain how we are actually gonna be giving these out to people at, from the church so that they can take it home and do a little Ash Wednesday prayer at home with their family. That's awesome, can I help you? Okay, sure. Awesome. So like, what are we gonna call these? Oh, well, the, it's just, I mean, it is what it is. It's a, it's a bag with ashes in it. Okay, but I have, I'm, in this moment, I'm thinking of like maybe some other things we can call it instead. So, okay, you wanna market it? Oh, well, kind of, I mean, it's a little bit, you know, a little uh, bit of branding right, goes me, a long way, I your, think. Give me your ideas. Okay, just off the top of my head, just kind of free flowing kind of thing, no wrong answers kind of idea here. Okay, what about um, Ash Bundle? Um, Lent to go. Uh, Uber ash. Uh, cinder bag. Cinder sack. Big old bag of black dust. I mean, those, you, your creative genius is at work again, Matt, but we don't need to be like too fancy with this. This is more about prayer, and um, so we're just gonna call it what it is. It's some ash in a bag. All right, I mean, if you ever need ideas, I've got them. You've oh, heard them, right? Like I've I just, heard them, they're yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so we get the bag of ashes, as you call it there. So how do I get one? You come to the church at the right times and uh, we'll be able to give one to you. So super simple. Oh, okay, cool. So can I, when, when I'm coming, could I also get one for like my friend Bonnie and my friend Jaden, my friend Ricardo? Like I have a bunch of like friends I wanna like give them out to. Um, yeah, I haven't seen them a lot during COVID, so I kind of miss them and I'm just like, hey, got, right. some, got some ashes for you. Well, well, if all those people are part of like your social bubble that you see normally, um, maybe you could pick up one for your group and do one with your group. But actually, we just really want, it's one per person per household, like who picks it up because uh, we don't want to lose them all at once. We don't want someone coming and getting them for everybody and then just having them be unused. We want to make sure that they go as far as we can. So um, it's one per person when you come pick one up and you can, if your friends are in their own little bubbles, you can tell them to come pick one up too. Okay, when I have them, if I just have the one for me, can I go around to my neighbors and give them ashes? Be like, hey, knock, knock, knock. Hey, I saw you shoveling recently. That's so crazy, I shovel too. Um, do you want to maybe like receive a sign of Christian penance on your forehead and just kind of do you know, try to do the six feet thing, but with my thumb. Well, you can't really be six feet away and have your hand on their forehead, so. That's, that counts. That's, that's, that's counts as yeah. still me, my arm's still me. Exactly, in fact, right. even okay. if you come to the church, it's probably gonna be a little different because of the whole social distancing thing. I heard about that, right. Yeah, and also though, we do want you to make sure that you're kind and loving to your neighbors and not weird right. so yeah you do often tell me that i come off a little weird so this is another it's this yeah. one of those times it where I'm, is one of yeah. those times okay yeah right. keep it within your family bubble if your friends ask about it or your neighbors ask about it you can absolutely share why it's important to you okay so i take it home i don't go to my neighbor's house door to door and do that that's fine but like what do i how am i going to know what to do with them Oh, that's simple. We actually have like, we're gonna give you some instructions. Oh. It's gonna have some, some things to say and some just things to know about how to do it. It's gonna be super simple. You just need to read it. Mm, okay, so you said tell you what to say. Cause I remember Ash Wednesday's past, mm -hmm. the person who gives you the ashes says a couple of things. I'm wondering, is this a good opportunity for me to try out a couple of new ones? Cause I've thought in the years past, I've been like, you know what? There's some other things you could say. Well, my answer is gonna be no. But we're not doing it right now, so why don't you try them out on me? Uh, okay, so my first would be, um, uh, you're bad and you should know you're bad, would be one, I would say. Another one would be like, it's Lent, baby. But you have to say it like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So still no? Um, I am uh, love love your energy, Matt. Still no. We have two things you can pick from. They aren't either of those. Okay. But they are repent and believe in the gospel, or remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Okay, you know what? I've already picked one in my head and I won't tell you which one I'm gonna use. Sweet, all right. That's, I'm happy for you. That's good, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna say, but when it comes to doing the ashes, so like, okay, now that I'm at home, I have a little bit more time to myself. You know, people have all sorts of like hobbies during COVID, right? So I do a little bit more artistic stuff. So is this time for me to try out some different crosses, like from throughout the history of the church, do like a Celtic thing, like really kind of take my time and doing it on my, my family and friends? Okay, now I'm really thinking it's not the right idea. I mean, I mean, good try, Matt. I really appreciate your creative spirit. I really do. But this isn't about you. 
It isn't about how amazing your cross can look. It is actually about something totally different. It's a little bit of a, of, a, of a somber time, of a time for us to recognize where we fail, where we don't measure up. And so try not to just show off your creative skills on other people's foreheads in this moment. You just have to do a simple cross. Okay. Yeah. So just like down or across. Yeah, or across and down. Does it matter or if I do up, left or right? Then, nope. Oh, nope. okay. It's good. It doesn't matter. Okay, good. So I know what to say. I know how to do it. So when I get the ashes on my forehead, kind of just like, like, boom, I got my ashes. Great. Go wash them off and then just like continue with my day. I would actually encourage you to keep it on all day. Oh. Yeah, because this is the beginning of Lent. We are, it's the, we're starting Lent. Ash Wednesday kicks it off. And we will have seven whole weeks of being in this period of Lent, which is where people who are Christians really intentionally enter into a time where they recognize their need for a savior, that we can't save ourselves, that we're not good enough for that, that we can never actually be. And so um, try to spend Ash Wednesday when you have those ashes on your forehead. Every time you notice it, whether it's in the mirror or someone mentions it or it feels a little itchy, um, you can sort of remember why you're wearing it and what we're about to enter into. Now, okay, what do I do with the leftover ashes? I'm assuming that I'm not gonna use all of them, right? So do I throw it out? Yeah. Do I, what do I do? Now that you're not drawing 16th century crosses right. on foreheads, you probably will have some left over. Right. Um, even when you use them for everyone in your household. Do you want me to give them back to you no, specifically? No, I, I don't need them, okay. but thank you uh, for the thought. Um, actually, they're blessed. So okay. it, the best thing to do with something that's blessed is since we can't reburn it um, and it's winter, you probably can't bury it. We just really suggest to sprinkle it outside. Okay. And, um, yeah, simple as that. Great. That sounds that sounds very good. I like that. So I think I think I know from beginning to end how to do this. That's so great. Yeah. Great. So so whether you come to the church or you're doing this at home, you'll be able to kick off Lent in an awesome way with your with yourself or your family or your family bubble. That sounds awesome. Okay. Actually, now that you mention it, Lent. I was going to talk to you about some things I'm thinking about giving up for Lent. I have some ideas I want to bounce off of you. Can you help me out with that? Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you have in mind? Okay. So I have like 19 ideas and I want to go through them in a uh, timely order. Okay. 